Hello, my name is Cameron Fraser Monroe. I'm a dance artist and choreographer. Uh, I was raised here in the Okanagan Valley by my two moms, but I am of uh, First Nations descent. I'm a member of the Tlaman First Nation, as well as being of mixed uh, Ukrainian and Scottish descent. My first dance at the age of three was Ukrainian, and then I transitioned quickly into grass dance and uh, hoop dance. And uh, at the age of 16, I moved to the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. Uh, and the whole time that I was there, I continued hoop dancing. I presented on APTN as well as Indigenous Day Live. And uh, all of this is something that I bring into my practice as a dance artist, the, that mixture of ballet and contemporary training as well as uh, traditional Indigenous dance. So a strong motif in this piece is definitely water. The literal experience of water, how it feels to have water on you, how it feels to be in water. And then also the water's experience, in that we believe that water holds memory. Water has importance to our people, and how it's cultural, it's physical, that my ancestors have worked, lived on the water, probably spending more time on the water than on land. There are First Nations people in Canada who do not have access to water, and uh, that's unacceptable. Full stop. We can fix that. This creation is telling a story about how Raven returns the water. One of them is people's response to disaster. The, there is a drought in the middle of this piece. A big teaching in it is about greed and about how we share resources. There will be steps, there will be movements that you don't recognize, that you aren't familiar with if you aren't familiar with the Coast Salish dance. And I'd encourage you to just take it in. I think you can just go into it where you're at um, and hopefully it will inspire you to look into it a little bit more, to spark your curiosity and uh, to engage with that culture a bit more because uh, it's truly beautiful.